a actual experiment and i will try to show you uh, uh, if possible using uh, another uh, uh, camera so till then try to see this uh, and i will switch on uh, this spectrometer uh, i can show you first of all uh, how can you use this so let me show you this is the setup and we will switch on this cfl bulb okay and here what you can do is that you can see the screen if you take the screenshot you can have corresponding reading for this mic uh, spectrometer and here if it is possible i will try to show you that what is visible here so uh, can you see the green line? yes it is visible sorry uh, sorry sir uh, sorry to interrupt you but uh, i think the money ppt is present here yeah okay ppt is uh, uh, being presented okay so okay. just uh, let me so uh, first of all stop sharing yes sir yes, and sir. now uh, now can you see Uh, so the tablet is it visible? Okay. Uh, uh, can you see uh, electrometer? No, uh, no, sir. Uh, the tablet says, "Amaru, no, ah, yeah, mail ID, can you tell me? Tell me, what is your mail ID? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, now it is visible. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. So, is it uh, the electrometer visible to you? Yes, sir. Here is the white light source. this is the spectrometer this is the grating you can see and if you see straight way you will be able to see the straight slit and if uh, i keep it near this is it visible to you color is the color visible to you yes sir green color uh no sir uh, video is blurred blur okay okay now yes sir mm -hmm. in between uh, it is visible okay but actually it, it is a green color just i wanted to show you that uh, if you just focus this and take a screenshot that will give you the reading for the green color and then if i set it for the straight reading uh this will show you another observation so if anybody <laughs> take, a, take a photograph that is enough okay then uh, let me switch over my again the screen i am coming back yes sir so is it visible yes sir so this was actually the live demonstration that uh, you can uh, use it okay uh, so what i used is was the cfl spectrum bulb and this is the equation if anyone has taken the two observations from the mobile screen then what they can do is that just take the difference between the two observations that will give you theta 
and uh, d will be equal to 2.54 upon 15000 lines per centimeter so this will be the value of d n will be equal to 1 and you will be able to calculate the value of lambda for green color and uh, if you see actually this is visible though through the mobile it was not visible but uh, this line is visible and if you get the reading near this 5465 angstrom or 546.5 nanometer around that then uh, uh, you'll have exact observation okay next what is the use of this inbuilt camera that we will see uh, if you use the video that can be also advantageous that suppose you have done this experiment of uh, charging and discharging of a capacitor so whenever this capacitor is connected to this supply the capacitor will charge through this resistance and initially when the capacitor was not charged at that time the charging current will be more voltage will be minimum when the capacitor starts to charge at that time charging current will go on decreasing exponentially whereas the voltage across it will in go on in increasing exponentially and you took the observations at the interval of 10 seconds now what will happen that whenever you try to calculate or when you try to uh, measure the value of current and voltage at the interval of 10 seconds what will happen when you see at the uh, current meter at that time volt meter uh, reading will go away so at a time actually you will be measuring either the current or voltage you cannot measure both the things simultaneously so what you can do is that just take a video camera video of the camera like this so this will be the current and this will be the voltage so once you take the observations like this then what you can do is that hold it and at different intervals of time you can see the seconds are changing so wherever i keep i can simultaneously measure the current and corresponding voltage so what is the advantage that even though you are told to uh, note the observations at the interval of 10 seconds but if you have good uh, camera you can note down the observations at the interval of one second also it is up to you so just you take one uh, set of the observations and everything is with you so but this will give you simultaneous observations so for this if you plot the graph of v against i uh, v and i against time you will get simultaneously changing voltage and current that will be the advantage so this is the advantage of using video camera this is also one use of video camera so whenever you use a simple pendulum like this okay what you can do just take a video for this pendulum even i have one pendulum with me if it is visible to you so if i oscillate it and if you take the recording for this then just you have to see only two ends once it goes from one side to other and comes back and that will give you the periodic time so how can you do this so just we can drag it like this it is in hold position so suppose i can see that uh, this is the maximum position correspondingly here you can see the time period on the bar and then uh, i will move it like this and when it comes back at that time it has completed one uh, revolution like this so one uh, let me start again this was one 3.07 second and when it comes back because at this point this one it will be at rest so it is 2.84 second so just from that you can measure the periodic time so it is simple one now those who are in msc they may have uh, studied the theory of phase trajectory of simple harmonic oscillator or simple pendulum so they can uh, draw the phase trajectory also from this what i have done i have kept one tab here or means mobile uh, in which i have kept the timer on and here you can see one graph paper so now what will happen you can see that uh, 
is it is this is cursor is moving at that time in the tablet you can see that this time period will be continuously changing and it is measuring the time interval at the uh, interval of 0 0.001 second so we are able to measure the time period at the interval of 0 0.001 second compared to this in this case you can measure up to 0 0.01 second so one more digit you can add if you use uh, this type of camera so now what you can do is that uh, if you want to uh, draw the phase trajectory here is the graph paper this was the center you can see this is one centimeter two centimeter three centimeter four centimeter like you can go away so this may be called as maximum amplitude and it will be going this way now what you can do just measure the time period at this moment say 28.327 seconds now when this pendulum travels from this point to this point by just one centimeter you can drag it uh, like this just by one centimeter so for one centimeter what is the time interval that will give you the velocity delta x is one centimeter divided by delta t so this will be giving you the average velocity during this time interval and the center of the two positions may be considered as the position x average position of the pendulum so this way at the interval of one centimeter you can measure x and dx by dt for, for plus side and minus side so in that case what we will get for different positions you will get approximately average velocities so once this oscillation is complete you have the values of x and dx by dt right once you have these values you can plot the graph of dx by dt against x so uh, you'll get this type of nature just invert it you'll get this type of nature so this will be the phase trajectory according to your theory uh, and here uh, you can see that this is elliptical as you have studied one more advantage this is what you have studied in 11th and 12th standard that if you plot the graph of kinetic energy versus position that is also available because this dx by dt is nothing but velocity at different positions so these are actually the experimental points which i calculated and just i kept them and this is the average line connecting them so you can see that uh, this is also following the whatever you have studied in 11th and 12th standard so this is the change in kinetic energy similarly you can plot the graph of potential energy because the pendulum was oscillating like this so for different positions this may be the minimum position this may be the maximum position so if you measure the height from that graph just this will be the height reference height so as the height changes m into g into h will give you the potential energy energy of the pendulum so if you plot the graph of potential energy as well as kinetic energy then you will get the total energy of the pendulum also it should come out to be this one so this can also be done also as i told you you can calculate the periodic time just from one oscillation okay next can you calculate the declination at your location using mobile if you have your mobile with you just uh, you can use it uh, i will show you how to measure the declination at your location so first of all what is declination you can say it is the angle on the horizontal plane between magnetic north and true geographic north at your location so you can see that uh, this is the equator and what are these vertical lines called this will give you lo uh, longitude uh, one line this line this line all these lines go towards north pole geographic north pole remember this is geographic north magnetic north may be here 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 or with time it is also changing right but at present suppose the magnetic north is here this is the geogra geographic north so for this location if you plot the direction towards geographic north uh, it will be like this if i can use uh, this pen so 
this tangent will represent the direction towards the geographic north and if the magnetic north is somewhere here so probably if you can uh, find out the direction for the towards the magnetic north you can calculate the declination uh, corresponding to your location so how to do this so just let me show you so uh, let me erase everything okay so you have this type of magnetic compass in your mobile so if you want to do it really then i am showing you else i have uh, kept everything here but uh, let me show you what you can do if you want to perform the experiment live so this will be your um, uh, compass magnetic compass so what you have to do you have to put your mobile in north south direction means it should show zero here uh, whatever angle is it is showing so just put it on the table so that this n shows in the north direction so angle will be correspondingly zero so once you put your mobile just come out of this app and then switch on the google map like this once you switch on the google map the google maps will show you your position your location also or if you know what is your exact location then also just you if you press it here somewhere then correspondingly you can see one uh, this type of uh, balloon will be visible so if you just see below this you will be able to see the longitude and latitude so if you copy this longitude and latitude and just put the values here you have to put the values here and what you have to do just change the longitude uh, suppose it shows 23.037 so what i will do i will change it to 23.038 instead of 7 just third or fourth digit i will change and in that case what will happen is that it will just show me some different location near to me and i have to press search so as soon as i press search i will get some another location so just i have to show the direction so you can see from my place this direction will be visible now what i did here is that when i just change this value of longitude so actually what i did is that if this is my position then i kept the position for this so if i'll join this these two i will get the line joining towards the geographic north and we have kept our mobile in the direction of magnetic north so just the center of the mobile will be in the direction of magnetic north and whatever you see here that will be in the direction if you uh, uh, just take a screenshot and uh, draw a line joining this point and this point so that will give you the direction of geographic north so what you will get will be this like this so uh, you can see there is one separation between these two lines so according to my location uh, i calculated that the declination is around 1 degree and if i uh, find out the declination uh, on the internet according to my location it was around 1.33 degree so just using mobile i can calculate this value so what i did just let me recall you uh, this is the longitude wherever you are you know your longitude position just change the longitude by some another value first quantity by three or four magnitude and draw a line joining the two and whenever you have kept your mobile in the actual magnetic and not direction <clears throat> the difference between the two will give you declination so this is the latest experiment that uh, i did two three days back and if you want to calculate the angle between the two there is one more app that is called protector so if you use this protector app 
uh, there is one facility of camera so if you just keep this camera on so you will be able to see this figure also so just what you have to do you have to set this line here and you can drag another line uh, at that position and it will show you what is the corresponding angle so you can exactly calculate the angle of declination right so this is the way this is one more experiment uh, uh, i will try to show you using uh, this mobile again i have to uh, switch on on this as a login kar rahe ho samajh okay i think uh, yes it is if it is there then i can uh, show you live else i will show by using uh, this uh, screen uh, can i share my mobile screen if i can uh, Mm. Yes, sir. yes, I appreciate. It. So, how to share it? Uh, yes. Just a okay. Is yes, it visible? is it visible my screen yes sir my screen is visible to you yes sir just a second sir mm. or i have to come out of from this uh sir uh, screen ma just naam batavi rahi hu je ma thi connect kar yu ema okay so naam bata ja na okay mm -hmm. connected to chho uh, just share karu par se it okay let me share again mm yes sir share the screen Yes, I think I will be able to use it. Familiar with uh, that uh, Google Meet, uh, so just just slightly different. Okay, I think uh, you will be able to see my screen. Yes, sir. Okay. so just what i will do is that this is the application called peach detector mm, yes you can yes. see the peach detector app right and yes, sir. right okay now what i will do is that i have kept uh, this bottle this bottle is filled with water uh, can everyone see yes sir yes sir okay so now what i will do is that uh, you can see the screen also so uh, you know that if i blow air as it is partly filled so when i blow air uh, we will hear some sound right so when i use this uh, app peach detector i have switched on so now when i blow even when i am speaking it shows some frequency but now when i blow air it will show the frequency which is generated by this whistling so now you can see what was the frequency
can you see this frequency yes sir it is visible sir uh, what was the value of that frequency it shows the value of e f and c so just uh, here uh, here wherever it shows this point when i am speaking it shows my frequency but uh, when i will blow air at that time it will change just again let me show you so and this was actually 326 if you can see is it visible to you uh, yes sir yes. yes yes sir okay now the participant uh, already message uh, 3 uh, 326 okay so what i have done is that i did one experiment uh, to verify this and uh, i have one uh, fork also okay so this is what you do in uh, the laboratory so can you hear the sound of resonance yes so this is what you did in f5 bsc or even even in 11th and 12th trial starter so uh, you can see if you can see uh, what is the frequency written here 320 right 320 so just i purchased for you that uh, i have to demonstrate but now everybody cannot purchase all the instruments right so what is the other uh, use of the mobile is that uh, uh, is the screen shared still or now i think you will be able to see the screen yes sir banne screen dikhase sir tame pan ek ma dikhasho ane mobile ma yes sir now this is one more app the name of the app is waveform generator right it is for the demonstration only but i can see uh, when i switch on the button you can hear the sound and uh, if i rotate this button uh you will be able to see that the frequency changes it okay so this mobile can generate the sound waves of different frequency that you know but now you can use this mobile to generate the same resonance for this frequency we did the experiment that uh, according to the pitch detector it was around 326 we got the resonance at 320 hertz and now let us see what is the frequency corresponding to this so just let me be near to that so you can easily understand whenever you find that there is some resonance you can see can you see the change in sound now it is not resonance but at frequency around that here you can see the uh, here the resonance sound yes right so just by using this mobile app there are many such apps that generate the sound frequency this was one uh, experiment this way you can uh, do many experiments using this mobile so just at your home you can verify the experiment of using this mobile app okay so just i wanted to 
so you will let me exit uh, this app or okay i will keep it as it is uh, and let me share the screen again nice so again can you see this speech detector uh, yes sir okay so using this app what we did we calculated the resonance frequency for this region of uh, empty bottle once you calculate the corresponding frequency then directly you can use uh, this app waveform generator to generate the frequency and find out where the resonance occurs so this is the experiment whatever you have done in 11th cell standard or in fibac you can perform the same experiment using just your mobile right so this is the advantage of using the mobile application so this is just a video just i will skip it there is one more app that is called electrodroid how much time do i have uh yes sir how uh, much approximately around 8 to 10 minutes sir okay okay so uh, i will quickly okay i will uh, quickly move further so this is one more app that is called electro document so uh, if you see this type of app uh, you will uh, see the a list that will appear if you press this button calculators so you can have resistance color code smd resistance color code inductor color code ohms law reactance resonance filters everything is possible uh, resistance ratio resistance value capacitor operational amplifier means when you press this button you will be able to see how the operational amplifier can be used in inverting and non inverting mode when you press this button you will be able to see the use of ic triple five as a stable multi vibrator mono stable multi vibrator etc just vary the value of resistance capacitor etc and you will be able to see what is the corresponding frequency or time period generated so as i told you when you press this button uh, this type of menu will open so just you have to press the color whatever is the color available here on with your resistance so just uh, first color is here second color is here third color is here and this is for the tolerance if you press it directly you will get the value of the resistance so this will be easy for you then if you press this button pin out then you will be able to find out the pin diagrams of uh, some of the uh, ports which are available to use for example usb port pin out serial port etc uh, hdmi if you press this button you will be able to see how the connections are done in hdmi port this is one more app 8085 simulator so those who are in bsc they will not be knowing what is this in a microprocessor but those who are in msc if uh, they have installed this app then they can uh, write down the program and uh, even uh, run the program generate the output everything is possible so actually due to lack of time i will uh, not uh, show you how to do this otherwise you can save the two numbers correspond and correspondingly get the output at other location and this is the corresponding program i could show you how to use this app but uh, due to limitation of time i am uh, going to skip it this is also one more app that is called desmos graphing calculator so if you have downloaded that app it will be very much useful to you so just if possible i will not uh, share the screen just i will show you uh, how it works so this is the desmos and when you switch on you will get this type of uh, uh, graph uh, and uh, of course let me share so that you can easily understand this is very much important
so if it is visible to you then can you see the mobile screen uh, yes sir yes yes sir okay so uh, in this app what you can do is that here i have to write down the equation say y equal to suppose i write here x then you can see that uh, directly one line will be generated if i write x square just this one correspondingly you have a graph of y against x square so if i add plus 2 suppose or say plus 2 you can see it shifts up right so or uh, suppose you want to plot another graph then press here suppose i want to uh, plot y equal to say x minus 3 then correspondingly you can see the corresponding line will be plotted there are some inbuilt functions also so if you press these three lines you will be able to see that uh, suppose i press the circle then uh, this type of circle will be visible to you there are this is the equation corresponding to the circle and these are the parameters radius uh, a and b are the uh, coordinates of the center of the circle so i can change the center of the circle like this you can see if i change the center of y this is the value of y if i want to change the radius i can change the radius like this so this is very much easy app and if you don't have any uh, laptop or computer and if you want to plot the graph of your points then there is one facility of table also so if i press table a table will be generated so here if i put suppose x equal to say 0 1 2 and correspondingly if i put the value of square of this x so square of 0 is 0 square of 1 is 1 square of 2 is 4 so as soon as i put the value you can see that the points are generated so if i add here suppose 3 a 5 then the square of 5 is 25 so correspondingly just i have to show here here this is 25 and if i press here you will be able to see that uh, this shows the coordinates of the point 5 and 25 so wherever you press correspondingly you will be able to find out the coordinates of the points also so this is very much interactive and useful app for all of you those who are from science background so uh, that is the advantage of this desmos calculator uh, i will not uh, discuss uh, this thing just let me again come back okay so that was the desmos graphing calculator all tools i will not discuss because now i have only 5 minutes left so uh, there are many uh, such uh, uh, inbuilt apps inside the app so uh, you can use uh, this for many types of tools ruler g meter vibrometer sound intensity meter brightness uh, revolutions per minute length height horizontal length speed trap everything uh, torch reminders compass leveler speedometer everything is there in just a single app so okay so the, there are many more apps so just uh, with a limitation of time uh, i discuss only few uh, this is one of the app which uh, was developed by us uh, and it is available on the in internet freely available generally used for android app uh, mobiles only this is not available on uh, the Uh, iPhone, but uh, if you wish, just I can show you one demonstration. Just one. Mm. If I can share you the screen, I will do it.
okay so just let me show you this is interactive app uh, if you know the answer you can give the answers so it will start like this uh, can you see the screen of this mobile game uh, yes sir. okay yes sir. so just you have to play and learn questions so if i press play it will ask me my name of course at that time you have to keep internet on suppose i write my name and press start so correspondingly what will happen that a question will be generated and i have to give the answer if i give correct answer i will get marks so there are different levels level 1 2 3 4 up to so on so as soon as i give the answers i will be moving up and uh, at the end i will get the final score so like that this app will be working so if it uh, works then let me show you mm. okay till uh, it starts let me mm. let me share it again there was something wrong no no sir uh, it is visible so no issue sir but uh, due to uh, less internet connectivity it is just uh, moving actually it should show the questions yes uh, can you see one question who is generated yes sir the cross product now, question cross product of vector a which itself what will be the value the cross product will be a cross a what will be the answer can anybody answer zero right so then uh, it asked to spin so it was our score is one we got one mark now if i press spin so the spin uh, wheel will spin and after that uh, one another question will occur a metal that remains in liquid form at room temperature is a b c or d yeah. at, at room temperature it remains in liquid form mercury mercury right. so mercury it is the correct answer so you can see the score is increased to 2 if i spin the wheel now if i give wrong answer then what will happen suppose the next question whatever is this i try to give the wrong answer and then it will show you the correct answer also so if you have seen it will show the correct answer that uh, so that you can find out that you were wrong so uh, this is wonderful equation is an example of which type of system suppose i suppose i give wrong answer say simple harmonic oscillator then it will show that no it is not correct answer the correct answer will also be displayed so like this uh, you can use this app uh, so just i wanted to share this that just now one or two minutes let me share the screen okay so this is one more app that is called pocket optics so just is, uh, this uh, uh, app is available in mobile you can just drag these uh, lenses mirror pins etc everything is available here so if you want to use the beam of light or uh, a ray of light whatever you want to use that you can use if you want to remove this uh, lens then also you can remove this lens just press here and press cross it will be removed if you want to add the lens you can add the lens everything is possible with that app this is one more app we developed one more year back that is called snakes and ladders in this case also uh, just you have to play this game and uh, the questions will be generated like this if you give the correct answer and there will be some statistics also uh, this is also available on the internet and once if you win the game you will get this type of a message that congratulations you won the game like that this is one more app that logic gates for the digital circuits this is hex decimal octave and binary converter so uh, particularly those who are using this microprocessor 
for them it will be easy that uh, if you have some you are given some decimal number so press decimal whatever number you write correspondingly you will get the hex number octave number or binary number everything will be visible to you this is for the school physics that uh, projectile mason for high school physics so if you install this you can study the different uh, ways of how the trajectory will be generated everything is in your hand all these buttons can be pressed arduino nowadays uh, you have to perform some uh, projects uh, using arduino then arduino tutorials are available here so just if you have installed this app you will be able to use it this was one more app developed by us so of course this is the end uh, of my session so just let me uh, tell you that teaching and learning through demonstrations can make learning of any subject more effective interactive and interesting and remember always that if you think of any subject in education there will be a moment for you even if you are in chemistry mathematics everywhere just write down your question that you, i want uh, to understand this topic uh, in mobile applications almost all types of topics are covered by different applications corresponding to different topics of your uh, uh, subject right so hope that uh, this lecture was useful to you and i tried to uh, cover uh, within a short time thank you everyone thank you uh, uh, iite gandhinagar for inviting me and giving me opportunity to uh, share whatever i know limit with limited knowledge i said and uh, hope that everybody enjoyed the lecture thank you so much everyone uh, thank thank you so much sir uh, thank you so much again aapne acche se matlab kaun si application kaise learning mein use kar sakte hain yes keval sir i would like to request uh, for the uh, further uh, session yes yes definitely uh, before we start and before we uh, move ahead uh, i would like to thanks to uh, deepak gadani sir uh, it it was very very uh, interesting and very interactive session sir and i hope uh, many of uh, especially uh, from our teacher educator students uh, definitely uh, they yes. will learn from uh, you and uh, your this uh, session and then and then uh, in future they will use uh, in their academic uh, career yes thank you sir thank you sir thank you thank you so much <laughs> uh, okay so moving ahead uh, now our next or last invited talk uh, so i am very happy to invite our uh, next talk uh, our invited talk uh, our young dynamic uh, uh faculty dr david thru uh right now he is working as a assistant professor uh, department of physics savras university rajkot uh, he did his msc and phd uh, uh in physics from savras university rajkot uh, uh now uh, he has more than 10 years teaching as well as research experience at uh, ug and pg level and uh, uh, he has published the many uh, more than 50 research paper in well, uh, well known reputed international journal uh, many uh, publication like a book publication uh, research project and uh, he has very access ex expertise in uh, to file the pattern so uh, through this uh, through this uh, online platform he will also uh, deliver and uh, lighting uh, regarding the pattern and some innovation particular in uh, nano science and nano technology and how the innovation will uh, helpful to society okay so i am very happy to uh, welcome and announce the name uh, dr david dhru uh, yes sir david sir please yes keval sir am i audible to you Yes, yes, perfect, perfect. Thank you very much, uh, Keval sir, for kind in, uh, introductions of mine, and I would like to thank you, Prof. Vijayan Gujarati, as well as IIT uh, Ahmedabad, uh, Gandhinagar, for uh, giving me this opportunity to share my knowledge 
in front of this uh, scientific society. Uh, yes, as you have said that uh, I'm going to share and discuss the my innovations uh, part that the lot of things we learn from a science, from a physics science, from material science, from space science, and a lot of areas are there in a science by which we can learn a lot of things. But how we can put this in a realistic applications? As uh, the, the Gadani sir have already told about the, the applications is uh, mobile. So I would like to share my presentations here. Uh, yes, sir. I think it is visible now. Yes, 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 Davis, sir. Okay, so my basic uh, today's topic is about to what is the nanoscience? I'm not going in a deeper part of that because in morning sessions, Dr. Sen have already discussed a lot of things, very important things of nanoscience over here. So my main uh, the title and my main aim of this talk is about to introduce the innovations for a society. How can we put our knowledge of science for the society by which our society become more stronger? That is the main aim of this my discussion, my topic. And for that I am going ahead. But before going ahead, I am going to discuss here because it is a specifically Vigyana, Vigyan Gujari. And uh, for that, I would like to speak these all these particular discussions in Hindi, and uh, I love to do that in that in Hindi. So basically, we have to. हमें ये समझना पड़ेगा कि technology क्या है, किस तरह से science, जैसे कि हम universities के जो professors हैं, जो industries के कुछ scientists हैं, तो वो लोग science develop करते हैं. साइंस है अच्छा पढ़ाते हैं और उसको डेवलप करते हैं उसका नॉलेज होता है लेकिन इस साइंस का यूज कैसे किया जाए इस साइंस को किस तरह से हम एप्लीकेशंस के तौर पे लिया जाए तो उस चीज की जो बात करनी है उस चीज का जो एक्सप्लेनेशन देना है वो यहां पे रहेगा और उसको हम ये भी कह सकते हैं दैट इज नथिंग बट टेक्नोलॉजी तो व्हेन साइंस फॉर्म सम एप्लीकेशंस फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक and turn it into the application format, then it come with the, some technology that is known as a technology. In last few era, we are knowing that the, you know, material science, specifically in material science, the people are not talking about the nanotechnology or nanoscience. The science which come with the, some new aspects, some new properties of similar materials. And that's why it becomes a very, very uh, interactive to your industries. उसका इंडस्ट्रीज में यूज काफी बढ़ चुका है आप आज के दौर पे अगर गूगल सर्च में आप डालेंगे और देखेंगे कि भाई कंपनी किस तरह से नैनो प्रोडक्ट डेवलप कर रही है तो आपको मालूम पड़ेगा कितनी सारी इतनी प्रोडक्ट ऐसी प्रोडक्ट है यहां पे मैं एक एग्जांपल लेना चाहू चाहूंगा इफको का हम जानते हैं कि इफको में जो सबसे इफको यानी कि एग्रीकल्चर है हमारा पूरा जो भारत नेशन है हमारा भारत देश है यस सर एम आई ऑडिबल Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Perfectly. Okay. Okay. So, our whole Bharat world is being developed. And in today's time, if we talk about the industries, there are many industries that are related to farming. So, there is a start of nanoscience to use the nanoscience. IFCO has developed its product, which is called nanoyuria, 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 जिसमें जो नैनो यूरिया की जो मात्रा हम एब्जॉर्ब कर रहे थे अभी तक और जिससे काफी सारा लोड भी गवर्नमेंट पे आ रहा था क्योंकि वो यूरिया और डीएपी है उसको काफी कम दाम सब्सिडी में देना पड़ रहा था काफी सारा आ, उसका यूज कर रहे हैं फार्मर तो उसको अभी दूर करने के लिए उसका एक सोल्यूशन लेके आए है जो उसमें उस, उन्होंने यूज किया है नैनो साइंस का यूज किया है और वो बोल रहे उसको नैनो यूरिया वो साथ में लेके आए हैं नैनो जिंक लेके आए हैं नैनो कॉपर लेके आए काफी सारे प्रोडक्ट वो इस दौरान लॉन्च कर रहे हैं ठीक है तो ये है साइंस की कुछ डेफिनेशंस कि हम जो पढ़ाई लिखाई करते हैं जो भी हमारे पास नॉलेज है उस नॉलेज का यूज किस तरह से टेक्नोलॉजी में किया जाए उसको कैसे टेक्नोलॉजी में कन्वर्ट किया जाए किस तरह से वो आ, उसकी एप्लीकेशन हम फाइन कर, कर सकते हैं और वो एप्लीकेशन है यानी कि वो टेक्नोलॉजी है तो ये टेक्नोलॉजी किसी साइंस को अगर टेक्नोलॉजी तक पहुंचाना है तो उसके लिए 
जो मेन पार्ट है जो मेन पाथ है वो पाथ रहेगा कि हम किस तरह से नया इनोवेशन कर सकते हैं तो ये इनोवेशन कैसे किया जा सकता है कुछ मैं एग्जाम्पल यहाँ पे दूंगा तो किस तरह से नैनो साइंस आया थोड़ा मैं बात करूंगा नैनो साइंस पे ज्यादा नहीं करूंगा बिकॉज ऑलरेडी डॉक्टर सर ने काफी कुछ इसमें बात की हुई है लेकिन ये जो साइंस है उसका यूज करके या कोई भी साइंस है उसका यूज करके किस तरह से एप्लीकेशन हम डेवलप कर सकते हैं किस तरह से हम उसको एक नया आयाम नई एप्लीकेशन दे सकते हैं और ये करना भारतवर्ष में आज की तारीख में काफी डिमांडिंग है क्यों डिमांडिंग है हम जानते हैं इस कोरोना दौर में हमने कुछ समय के लिए जो चीन से इम्पोर्ट हो रही प्रोडक्ट थी जो भारत देश में आ रही थी हमें मालूम है कि हम इम्पोर्ट काफी कुछ कर रहे हैं अभी तीन चार दिन पहले मेरे एक यूएस के फ्रेंड थे उनसे बातचीत हुई तब मुझे एक शॉकिंग न्यूज ये मिला कि जो हम सब्जी है उसमें यहाँ पे तो हमारा पूरा फार्मिंग कंट्री है जो सब्जी है उसमें से जो आता है जिसको हम गाजर कहते हैं वो भी हम इंपोर्ट कर रहे हैं भारत देश वो भी सब्जी भी इंपोर्ट कर रहा है हम खेती प्रधान हुए थे फिर भी हम ये इंपोर्ट कर रहे हैं तो काफी ऐसी चीजें हैं जो बेसिकली डिमांडिंग है और यहाँ पे हो सकती है उसकी काफी सारी पॉसिबिलिटी है नेचुरल कन्वीनियंसी है वो एनवायरमेंट है हमारे पास फिर भी नहीं हो रही है तो क्यों नहीं हो रही है इस बारे में अगर हम सोचे तो फिर हमें पता चलेगा कि क्यों हमें टेक्नोलॉजी की रिक्वायरमेंट है किस तरह से हम जो अभी एक मिशन चल रहा है तो वो मिशन के अंतर्गत किस तरह से हम अपना साइंस का जो नॉलेज है उसको डेवलप करके टेक्नोलॉजी की ओर ले जाए नैनो साइंस में जिस तरह से बात हुई तो नैनो इसमें हमें पता चला कि कुछ पैरामीटर्स काफी बेहतरीन है क्योंकि इसमें जो पार्टिकल साइज जो काफी कम है वो नैनोमीटर्स की रेंज में जिसका उसका सार हाई सरफेस टू वॉल्यूम रेशियो है यानी कि वो काफी अच्छी लोग जैसे डॉक्टर सेन ने उसमें काफी डिस्कस किया है कि काफी अच्छी तरह से वो पार्टिकल्स की सरफेस टू वॉल्यूम रेशियो बढ़ती है तो उसकी रिएक्टिविटी बढ़ जाती है और वो रिएक्टिविटी बढ़ने के कारण उसकी एफिकेसी हो बढ़ सकती है उसमें एक दूसरी चीज भी थी की थी जो क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स के रिलेटेड थे क्वांटम कन्फाइनमेंट इफेक्ट यानी कि बेंडिंग का जो है वो कंटिन्यूस रहेंगे डिस्क्रेट बेंड एनर्जी हो जाएगी ठीक है ना और उसके वो चेंज होने के कारण उसकी केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज तो चेंज होती है फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज भी चेंज होती है यानी कि उसने एग्जाम्पल जो दिया था कलर्स का कलर्स विल बी गोइंग टू चेंज विद गोल्ड एंड सिल्वर चांदी का जो कलर है गोल्ड का जो कलर है वो सब कलर अपने आप चेंज हो रहे हैं जैसे कि पार्टिकल साइज घटा रहे हैं जो उसको नैनो साइज में ले जा रहा ठीक है लेकिन अगर मुझे इस साइंस का यूज करके अगर उसको कुछ प्रोडक्ट डेवलप करनी है कुछ टेक्नोलॉजी डेवलप करनी है कुछ मार्केट को देना है कुछ सोसाइटी को देना है तो सोसाइटी में किस तरह से क्वेश्चन आएंगे दे आर नॉट नोइंग अबाउट टू पार्टिकल साइज एंड इफेक्ट उसके लिए पार्टिकल साइज कोई मायने नहीं रखता उनके लिए हायर सरफेस टू वॉल्यूम मायने नहीं रखता वो क्या सवाल पूछे जाएंगे कौन से सवाल जब टेक्नोलॉजी में जाएंगे जब सोसाइटी में आप जाएंगे तो सोसाइटी आर नॉट मच थिंक अबाउट टू साइंस दे जस्ट वॉन्ट प्रोडक्ट तो वो किस तरह से क्वेश्चन आएंगे तो पहले पूछे पूछेंगे कि आप जो डेवलप कर रहे हैं उसकी स्टेबिलिटी क्या है स्टेबिलिटी इश्यू है या नहीं है उसकी इफिशियंसी कितनी है वो इफिशियंट कितना है मुझे अच्छा वो रिजल्ट देगा या नहीं देगा अगर वो बात करेंगे तो अगर आप नैनो साइंस से कुछ बेहतरीन चीज लेके आ रहे हैं तो क्या वो कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव है मैं जो अभी यूज कर रहा हूँ उसके अलावा मुझे कुछ यूज करना है कुछ आप नहीं डिजाइन कर रहे हैं कुछ नई दे रहे हैं जो अच्छी है एनवायरमेंट फ्रेंडली है काफी अच्छी प्रोडक्ट लेकिन उसका कॉस्ट इफेक्टिवनेस क्या है और उसकी कुछ एडवर्स इफेक्ट है या नहीं तो जब हम अपना साइंस का नॉलेज लेके सोसाइटी को देने जाएंगे तो सोसाइटी हमसे इस तरह के क्वेश्चंस पूछ सकता है और ये क्वेश्चन का आंसर अगर हम दे सकते हैं तो फिर हम अपना साइंस को सोसाइटी के यूज में आए सोसाइटी उसका यूज कर सके उसको प्रस्थापित कर सके एज अ प्रोडक्ट वो हो सकता है तो ये चीज हमें दिमाग में रख के चलनी है कि अगर मैं टेक्नोलॉजी डेवलप कर रहा हूँ कुछ साइंस का यूज करके कुछ टेक्नोलॉजी डेवलप कर रहा हूँ कुछ इनोवेशंस करना चाहता हूँ तो इनोवेशंस तो हो गई है मुझे पैटर्न भी मिल गए चलो मैंने उसको रिकॉर्ड भी कर लिया एक अच्छा एस्टेब्लिश भी कर लिया इन टर्म्स ऑफ माई एपीआई लेकिन वो सोसाइटी उसको यूज करेगी या नहीं करेगी ये इसकी चिंता भी हमें करनी पड़ेगी और उसकी चिंता के मुताबिक ये सब क्वेश्चंस के आंसर हमें 
देने होंगे अगर मैं साइंस का यूज करके कोई भी डेवलप करता हूं और वो अगर सोसाइटी में एक्सेप्टेड नहीं है उसको सोसाइटी एक्सेप्ट नहीं कर सकती इन्हीं किसी चीजों के कारण तो फिर वो सिर्फ एक इनोवेशन है लेकिन वो यूजफुल नहीं हुआ टू द सोसाइटी तो यहाँ पे मैं ये चीज कुछ ऐसी चीजों के एग्जाम्पल देना चाहूंगा कुछ ऐसी चीजों के बारे में बात करूंगा कि जो सोसाइटी उसको एक्सेप्ट कर सकती है और उनको किसी दूसरी कंट्री के डिपेंड होने के बजाय हमसे यानी कि इस पूरी रिसर्च सोसाइटी से वो कुछ एक्सपेक्टेशंस बढ़ा सकती है तो ये मेरा एम है कि किस तरह से हम साइंस का यूज करके कुछ इनोवेशंस करें कुछ टेक्नोलॉजी डेवलप करें जो टेक्नोलॉजी सोसाइटी में एक्सेप्टेड हो और उस एक्सेप्टेंस से उस टेक्नोलॉजी से हम जो आत्मनिर्भर भारत का सपना है अभी वो फुलफिल कर सके ठीक है सो इट मीन्स टेक्नोलॉजिकल इनोवेशन इज रिक्वायर्ड हमें टेक्नोलॉजी का यूज करके कुछ इनोवेशन करने पड़ेंगे जो काफी कठिन नहीं होता लेकिन हाँ वी हैव टू स्टार्ट अ थिंग इन द डायरेक्शन हमें उस डायरेक्शन में कुछ चिंतन करना पड़ेगा हमें उस डायरेक्शन में कुछ बातें करनी पड़ेगी उस डायरेक्शन में कुछ विचार करना पड़ेगा सो लेट वी स्टार्ट आर टॉक विथ द वेरी ब्रीफ और लिटिल बिट डिस्कशन ऑन दी वॉट इज अन ऑफ साइंस एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी नो इन दैट बिकॉज डॉक्टर सैन हैव डिस्कस दैट द स्टडी एंड मेनिपुलेशन ऑफ मटेरियल एट स्केल अगर हम किसी मटेरियल का मेनिपुलेशन करते हैं उसका मोडिफिकेशन करते हैं और उसको हम नैनो स्केल में ले जाते हैं यानी कि नैनो मीटर्स में ले जाते हैं तो फिर हम उसको नैनो मटेरियल्स बोल सकते हैं नैनो और इस चीज के बारे में जो साइंस बात करता है उस साइंस को हम नैनो साइंस कहते हैं तो नैनो टेक्नोलॉजी अगेन इज अ साइंस इज इंजीनियरिंग एंड इट इज अ टेक्नोलॉजी कंडक्ट एट द नैनो स्केल एंड नैनो कैन रिफर द टेक्नोलॉजी मटेरियल्स पार्टिकल्स ऑब्जेक्ट वी आर फोकस नैनो मटेरियल्स एज दीज आर ऑलरेडी बींग यूज इन वर्क प्लेस जो मटेरियल यूज हो रहे हैं उदाहरण तौर पे बात की जाए तो हम जानते हैं कि भाई हम एल्यूमिना जो है उसका यूज करते हैं पेंट इंडस्ट्रीज में काफी बड़ी मात्रा में यूज होता है हमारी जो खास करके गुजरात की बात की जाए तो गुजरात का एक पूरा हब है इंडस्ट्रियल हब मोरबी में स्थापित है जिसको हम सिरामिक इंडस्ट्रीज बोलते हैं तो अगर वहां पर जाएंगे तो आपको पता चलेगा कि एल्यूमिना एल्यूमिना ऑक्साइड एल्यूमिनियम ऑक्साइड की काफी डिमांडिंग है उसकी काफी डिमांड वहां पर है जो तकरीबन थर्टी या फोर्टी रुपीज में मिलता है के जी पर के जी तो उसको अगर मैं नैनो में कन्वर्ट कर दू तो उससे क्या प्रॉपर्टी उससे उससे सिरामिक इंडस्ट्रीज को क्या बेहतरीन प्रॉपर्टी मिल सकती है और क्या वो उसकी कॉस्ट में जा सकता है या नहीं इसका चिंतन करना पड़ता है तो नैनो मटेरियल से जो यूज हो रहे हैं जो कुछ मटेरियल कन्वेंशनल यूज हो रहे हैं अगर उसको मैं नैनो में कन्वर्ट कर दू और उसकी एप्लीकेशन चेक करू उसकी प्रॉपर्टी चेक करू तो क्या बेहतरीन मिल रहा है वो मुझे दिखाई देगा और उसको हम बोलते हैं नैनो मटेरियल्स का पूरा किस तरह से बात की जाती है यहाँ पे कंपेरेटिव दिया गया है कि किस तरह से हम कंपेरिजन कर सकते हैं ऑन स्केल दैट इन सम दी रेंज अगर वो किस तरह से है अगर वाटर है तो उसका साइज क्या है तो वो टेंथ के बेसिस पे मैंने यहाँ पे दिया गया है और यहाँ पे हम देख सकते हैं कि किस तरह से वो अलग अलग बैक्टीरिया है वायरस है कैंसर सेल्स है अटेनिस बोल है तो वो कहा किस तरह से वो उसकी साइज क्या होगी अप्रोक्सीमेशन उसका उसके बीच में कितना अंतर रहेगा वो थोड़ा दिया गया है नैनो टेक्नोलॉजी और नैनो एंड टेक्नोलॉजी नैनोमीटर्स इज अट इट इज नथिंग